in india the habit of putting the conch bangles bangles made out of conch shell they will cut the conch shell and make bangles they will put the bangles on devi murti means the hands of the goddess goddess statue this devi has got this goddess has got four hands in one hand she is holding the head of a demon means that is the ego cut when you cut the ego you become enlightened to show that she is having the head of a demon in the hand just to show that remove your ego symbolically in all other three hands you can put the conch bangle in this hand it won't enter because the uh, statue is made in such a way that she is holding that head you can't put the conch bangle one day a lady devotee brought four bangles for devi and gave it to ramakrishna and told please put it on devi he put all the three and the ladies he was trying to put the fourth one also that lady who brought the bangle she laughed and told are you mad you are trying to put the bangle on her hand bangle is small and the hand is big because she is he is holding she is holding the head but ramakrishna said no that is okay the story says ramakrishna came out of the shrine and when the lady saw the devi was already wearing the bangle the bangle was in the hands of devi the lady was frightened shocked surprised and she asked how can you do this did you break the bangle or did you break the statue he said go and check she went and checked the bangle is there as a single piece it's not broken it's not cut and pasted no those days there was no fabrical and the statue is not broken no impossible how can it happen she asked ramakrishna how did it happen what did you do how the bangle went inside the hand ramakrishna said no just i told devi drop the head she dropped it i put the bangle then i told her please now hold and she is holding now that's all understand please if you go to dakshineswa still you can see the bangle unbroken and the statue which is not broken big marble head it the murti is made out of single piece marble when i went there the swami is will be allowed to go inside and touch the deity i touched and saw i just tried to rotate the bangle because i i am not the guy who believe so easily <laughs> no i tell others but i myself don't believe easily <laughs> no i went and did that i just tried try to roll and i was shocked my eyes started pouring the same statue see the power when you open up when you open up not only you became alive even to the person or the object which you open up he or the object also becomes alive understand you can't relate i know many people are now struggling to relate with the story which i expressed it's very difficult telling that uh, the uh, statue left the head and after a few minutes it started after a few minutes it started holding you can't it's very difficult to understand logical people will think oh what is he talking how can this be they will naturally ask for photograph videograph scientific research <laughs> and they will have their own theory maybe the ramakrishna was hallucinating <laughs> he needs psychotherapy ah <laughs> there must be a small cut in the bangle you can have stories 
but very difficult unless you yourself experience how to justify. Actually, when I entered inside the shrine to check, I never thought I will be completely broken, I will be completely shaken because I thought must be somewhere one corner there should be a small break <laughs> and they would have pasted it with some traditional gum because in those days fevical may not be there but there must be there must have been some gum i was trying to move 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 that bangle at least 10 times that pujari was standing and laughing at me pujari means the person who does puja the pandit ji is um, this belongs to same family of ramakrishna he was standing there and laughing at me that he knows the story and he understands that i am checking i am just checking no logic but still the proof is there still proof is there if you go you can see and impossible to put that bangle and he says ramakrishna says what is there i told her to drop that head and put the bangle and gave that head and he again she started holding that's all such a simple straight way of relating he says sometime he will eat the food and see the taste and then offer it not only that he will take a small thread and keep it near her nose to see whether she is really breathing or not and he says she used to breathe anyhow at least all these things we don't have evidence but this bangle we can't tell anything it's there when i heard the story myself i thought let me go and see and then we will talk about it forget it but when i went there when the pujari is allowed me near the murti even at that time i never thought i will be completely shaken because sometime when you see something beyond logic when you see the compassion of the divine just your whole being moves away just your whole being is taken away just your whole logic gives way 